It's on Friday. There is Freaky Friday, great movie. Friday Night Lights, there's even a movie called Friday. Indeed there is. Then there's Friday the 13th. Which is today. Friday the 13th Part 2, Friday the 13th Part 3, and if you're in a binging mood, Friday the 13th. Okay, I think we all get it. There is a new movie in theaters that combines the idea of Freaky Friday and Friday the 13th. Which one? Three? Or maybe Friday the 13th. Maybe. Our TCL I've... movie guy sits down with the stars of the film. Take a look. Now, Vince, you and I are both from Minnesota. How often do you get back here? And are there any bars or hangouts that you always have to go to? You know, I used to go back for the state fair quite a bit. Mm. Uh, and I brought my friend, uh, Peter Billingsley, the actor. I would, he brought, came with me a couple years uh, to go to in Minneapolis. I had a couple good friends who went to University of Minnesota. So even when I was in California, I would come back from time to time and uh and come visit it's a great city there's lots of great stuff to do honestly if this was a horror movie i'd be one of the first ones to get killed Cute. why do you think that people like being scared by scary movies that's a good question i think it's fun to feel something that you're not ready for to be surprised you feel it in your whole body and um it's fun to laugh at your friends getting scared too <laughs> yes i do like the feeling of of being startled and jumping. I, I do like the ride. So um, I, I, I can be up for a good horror movie. Ah, oh my God, it's supposed to be a butcher! Oh, oh, I'm assuming that both of you got scripts for horror movies quite a lot because we get tons of them in theaters. Was there something about this one or what was the quality that you're like, yep, I'm in, sold, I will do this? This one was like a movie I'd never read before. It was, the scares were different, but mostly, What's interesting is you were rooting for a serial killer. So I mean, like this script, like killed all the tropes and the cliches. Like it killed the final girl. It killed the everything you've seen before, the stereotypes. And I was like, this movie's going to change what we think. I'm really happy that people will get to see this and like are gonna have a great time with it. It's a pleasure, man. Thank you. Thanks. Yeah, you're welcome. Take care. I want my body back. Come and get it. Paul McGuire Grimes, we will start with the most uh, breaking bit of news that we heard there. We didn't know Vince Vaughn was from Minnesota. We both were like, what? Yes. He was born in Minneapolis. So, you know, oh. I had to ask about it when I talked well, to him. Course. Oh, of course. That was really fun to get that connection together. Right. Okay, so now let's talk about the movie Freaky. Um, is it full-blown horror? Because it might, by the looks of it, it feels like there's quite a bit of comedy that sort of reprieves you from those really tense moments. You're exactly right, Steve. There is a lot of comedy in it to kind of downplay and kind of balance really well with the horror. I mean, yes, it is a slasher flick. It is bloody. But you will laugh. You'll have a great time. It's clever. It's twisted. It reminded me a lot of Scream. And the director and the writer, they know the horror genre. So there's a lot of homage to Scream, The Shining, and tons of other movies in it. So and then when you get Vince Vaughn trying to act like a high school girl, and then you have Kath Newton then trying to act like Vince Vaughn, it's a great kind of back and forth banter that they have. And everyone in the movie knows exactly what movie they're in. Mm -hmm. And they're having a really fun on time so then you as the audience are having a blast too you might have seen me i was giving steve the side eye just then he's taking notes what questions do you have for paul oh i have all sorts of questions for paul let me ask you this about vince vaughn when vince vaughn is in a uh, when he's in a movie there's something about the delivery of every line that is so unique right. and is so quintessentially is vince vaughn does he lean fully into that like is this a movie for vince vaughn fans I would say so, yes. And then you get to see him like flailing around and screaming. So there's the side of Vince Vaughn that you like from like Wedding Crashers and then him being really over the top and goofy and campy as well. So it's a new side for him and it's great. And it's, you know, he's a great, he's a good actor. Mm -hmm. um, how many ticket stubs? So four out of five. Four I five. love horror okay. movies as you guys know. So I'm excited for people to see this one. And I'm excited to add it to this collection over here too. Fun. Okay. Uh, something I'm really looking forward to that's out on Sunday, the 15th, yes. the crown season four. You got to watch a few episodes. What did you think? It starts in the 1980s and we learn how Margaret, Prime Minister Margaret Thatcher and Diana Spencer would go on and you know influence the royal family and the people of Great Britain and the mark that they left on everyone. Uh, the crown this... got off to such a big start season one, Paul, and then of course the shift season three with Olivia Coleman taking over. So now people have adjusted. Does the but it seemed like last year was like that. Okay, is everybody good with Olivia Coleman? Do we feel good about it? Where does this season compare to this point from your perspective to the first three seasons? Yeah, I would say that this season is just as strong as the others, if not stronger. And I think oh. that the storytelling 
really catapults right at the first episode. You learn exactly how the relationships that Margaret Thatcher and Diane Spencer have with everyone involved. And it's pretty much a continual through line with the stories. It isn't as individual as the episodes from past seasons. And the acting is so incredible. Julian Anderson, who plays Margaret Thatcher, will win an Emmy for her performance. Mm. She completely embodies her. You know, she's got the low raspy voice, the like posture that Margaret Thatcher had and this like presentational vibe where she wants you to take herself seriously. Oh, I I'm talking cannot about wait for this. Oh, stunning. And then Olivia Coleman, funny, like witty. The writers know how to write for her. You know what the bummer is for me? I mean, I mean, I'm very excited about The Crown season four. I still haven't watched The Crown season three. You got to binge it on Saturday. But what about binging this on Sunday when it's out? Should I just cancel all my big plans I have? Huh. Here's the thing. I think that you should actually take it slowly okay. because you will want to kind of relish in how good it looks, the acting, these storylines. You don't want to be done with it after just one day. Yeah. So watch maybe two episodes at a time. There are 10 episodes. So take it slowly, take sit with it, like see, go on Wikipedia, these 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 people and learn about British history and then how the US That's was. That's what I do. Fun. I Google as I'm watching oh, it. Oh, how fun. Yeah. Paul, it's oh, good Paul, to have you back on the you. show as always. You Thanks. can visit Paul's website. It's called Paul's Trip to the movies.com. He's got updates on movies and streaming service options as well. You can also listen to Paul on the Colleen and Bradley show on My Talk 1071 each and every Friday, where you can watch him on his YouTube channel. It's also called Paul's Trip to the Movies. TCL's Movie Trip is brought to you by Muska Lighting. Now is a great time to shop at Muska Lighting because you can take 30 to 50% off specially marked items in store during their display sale. You can shop their locations in Roseville or Eden Prairie. And these discounts, they're for in-store items only. And again, only select items are available at a discount. You can also shop online for other great products at muskalighting.com. Everybody ready for some wishful thinking? Next up, when you can yes. get tickets for a summer music festival. In the Twin Cities. That sounds good. If it happens. Stay with us. Thanks to Muska Lighting for sponsoring TCL's movie trip. Replace old and dated fixtures with a new light and change the look and feel of your home. Our mudroom fixture from Muska Lighting is a total showstopper. We get compliments from everyone who walks through the door. Talk to the experts at Muska Lighting in Roseville and Eden Prairie for help finding the perfect light for you.